we go with my original shims. And I'm going to go ahead and measure them again, I think, and uh, double check and write it down. And go ahead and put them on the carrier, and I'm going to go and throw that uh, the carrier in and see what kind of backlash I can get. Now, those shims, it's actually, it's a pack of shims right there. It's about three or four shims. And they're all a bunch of different sizes, so I'm actually going to record what all of those are. So if I need to take some out, you know, I know which ones to take out. Yeah, the carrier fits in there nice and tight. And right from the get-go, as soon as I get in there, I can tell that there's there's almost no backlash. So I'm gonna have to pull the carrier back out. So ultimately what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to end up pulling a couple thousands with the shims out of the left side, the left side on the screen, and then adding them to the right side. That's going to give me some backlash. And I'm going to reinstall the diff and then see what kind of backlash number I end up with. Yeah, the rule is, is whatever you take off one side, you have to add to the other side. It's actually not that hard. You're just going to have to do it a couple times. Until you get the, uh, the number that you need. Those bearing caps, you're going to want to install them and uh, you torque them down to 100 foot pounds and then uh, take the backlash. backlash I'm usually looking for between uh, four and eight thousandths. And I'm usually leaning towards the, the four. And then once you get it, once I got it, go ahead and pull off those um, setup bearings. There, You can see them, I have them up on the, the press right there on the left and right side. And uh, go ahead and press your new bearings right on there. Again, I have to use an old race to, to help me out. And, uh, go ahead and install it one more time. check the pattern this is actually the second time I checked the pattern I actually checked the pattern um, the last time once the, the backlash was right but I'm gonna go ahead and check it again to make sure it's good it's 
so I can live with that pattern. And actually, this pattern actually it came out Boom. pretty good. Once you get those torqued to 100 foot pounds, you can start slapping everything back together. I don't show you how to change the axle seals because uh, it's kind of a little tedious process with some long extensions and everything like that. But yeah, you can go and throw your uh, axles and brakes back on and everything like that.